Apple glasses, it all makes sense now. Welcome back to the channel. Here we go again. So we've all heard recently that Apple started work on something called Apple glasses. In fact, Tim Cook, he actually said this recently. He said it was one of the most important products that Apple's working on. And he said it's fundamental to the future of Apple in a top priority. And at least something like that. You can see the quote over there for sure. So for Apple, this is one of the most important product launches that's going to be coming up here in the future of Apple. Okay, and then now we're actually getting some news here as far as the new Apple Vision Pro. So after this next iteration that's allegedly coming out in the next month with the M5 chip with the Apple Vision Pro, we actually heard right over here, Apple has allegedly stopped research and development on a cheaper, lighter Air version of the Apple Vision Pro. You can see the article right here. So what gives? So the real question here is, is Apple really going to kill off the Vision Pro after the M5 version comes out? And are they all in on the Apple glasses? I think the answer is both yes and no. And then today we got some even more exciting news. We're finding out about Apple's possible plan to make sure that the Vision Pro's vision, basically, isn't lost in the brand new Apple glasses. And they're actually going to share a ton of the same OS features and a whole bunch of different functionality is actually the Vision Pro with the brand new glasses. So anyways, sit back and relax. And I'm going to go through exactly why the glasses are going to be way better than I initially thought and way better for most people out there and how they're actually going to work. We actually think this from the rumors. It's really pretty exciting. All right. So about two weeks ago, we found out a whole bunch of new information about Apple smart glasses, which I'm going to showcase here. But stay tuned because later on, I'm going to show you what came the news that came out actually today that's going to make these so much better. But first of all, right over here, Mac rumors, it says Apple's 2026 smart glasses, five key features to expect. All right. Apple's working on a set of smart glasses to rival the Meta Ray-Bans. Now, I think Meta could be so much further ahead than Apple if they would just get a different spokes model here. Take a look at this guy. I always put this guy in here because it's so funny. He always seems to screw up the presentation and stuff. Anyways, without getting into that, let's keep moving forward. So a couple of different things that we saw earlier was they're actually going to be fashion forward. So like the initial versions of Apple Watch, Apple glasses will be fashion accessory rather than clunky frames. So what Apple's planning on doing is making these things stylish and they actually want to make sure that they're not as clunky as the Meta Ray-Bans. They want to make them look like real glasses and they're going to accomplish that in this next thing I'm going to show you in, in a couple of minutes here. But still, that's going to be one of the key features we learned a couple weeks ago. Then down here it says, so Siri will play a major role. Apple can't release smart glasses until it has a functional next generation version of Siri. Controls will be very uh, largely voice based. You can see it here. Um, it says Apple re-architects Siri with large language models and a smarter Siri that's more like Claude, Gemini, or ChatGPT is coming in spring of 2026. At least that's what we've been promised, right? Long story short, we see that they're buying some AI different companies, or at least they're getting really close to doing that. So they're working on that slowly but, but surely. And we hope that this is, this is the key feature, but this is not what I'm talking about. Let's keep moving here. So what else did we learn about this a couple weeks ago? It says rumored Apple glasses features. So Apple's first generation glasses won't include a display like Meta's latest rate band display glasses. Now, I'm not so sure about that, all right? I actually think this is not true because we found out some stuff about it today. But what they were saying a couple weeks ago is we don't know everything about Apple's glasses yet, but we've had rumors about some of the capabilities that have included taking photos, recording video, play audio, including podcasts, music, audiobooks, offer directions, answer questions, describe your surroundings, identify plants, animals, landmarks, make phone calls, send messages, translate languages, all right? Now, that's actually what we thought. Those are pretty common features, all right? But, you know, hold on a second, because this is the exciting part coming up. Before we get there, two more things here. This article says you'll still need your iPhone. The Apple Glasses will have an apple design chip that's based on the chip in the Apple Watch, but you're still going to need your iPhone to use them. And I think that's actually going to be true. You'll see in a second how exciting this could actually be and why the Vision Pro's vision is coming to the glasses. And then finally, it says we could see these glasses as soon as 2026. I don't think that's the case here. It says basically they'll show them off in 2026. That could be the case, but it sounds like it might announce a 2026 or you know early 2027 launch. That's actually what I'm thinking, 2027. So this is what we learned. But what did we learn today? That's the key features here. Why is this so... I guess surprising and actually, you know, for someone like me, it's going to mean a lot, you know, a lot better glasses overall than just having these kind of features that everyone else has already. Okay, like I said, fast forward till today. Now we're finding out that the Vision Pro, all that research and development isn't actually going to waste on these new glasses. And they're all going to put this to good use right over here. 
Okay, 9 to 5 Mac, it says, Apple glasses suddenly make so much sense after this new reveal. Apple glasses are a high priority for Apple, so much so that the company has reportedly paused development of a lighter Vision Pro to focus on the glasses product, all right? We actually know that. We just talked about that. That's pretty common. But here's kind of some of the things that I did know about. Vision OS could run on Apple glasses. Think about this for a second. With full version unlocked by a nearby Mac. So this weekend on Power On Newsletter, Mark Gurman shared more details related to the recent reporting of the future of Apple glasses. He said, the glasses are also likely to run on Vision Pro's operating system, Vision OS, so all the work that the software isn't going to waste. A, a future device could operate the full version of the OS when it's paired with a Mac and then switch to a lighter, more mobile-friendly interface when it's linked to an iPhone. This is what he's being told. So think about this for a second. Now that you actually have a Mac associated with this and the iPhone, and it can make it super powerful. The article goes on to say, it seemed likely for years that AR glasses could be the iPhone level technology revolution. Apple Vision Pro was created as a unique AR VR, VR hybrid, and many assumed that its existence was a key stepping stone towards the eventual glasses, and we talked about that. But the advent of the AI products like Meta's smart glasses have led Apple to reportedly pivot. Rather than progressively shrinking the Vision Pro to glass size product, the company intends to ship AI glasses that perhaps one day could offer true AR functionality. So basically, let's just kind of scroll down to the next report here. This is kind of the most important part. Spatial computing via Apple glasses may not be too far off, all right? So Apple glasses will likely run a stripped down version of Vision OS per the German sources. A future model will be able to unlock Vision OS functionality when paired with the Mac. Prior rumors around Apple's headset and glasses plans made reference to models that would tap into extra power when connected to a Mac, but those reports always made it seem, to me at least, like the Apple was just throwing an idea at the wall to see if it stuck. Now though, this idea of a Mac paired wearable combined with the fruits of the Vision Pro and the Vision OS all seem truly essential to Apple glasses, not just for some years away version of the product, but even one of the first iterations. So this comment guy says here, after having my Meta display glasses for a few days, I can say that I really feel like it's the next thing. Meta's implementation ultimately didn't match up to, with me and he actually returned them. But as an Apple guy, I can see this is the right direction. So this guy is actually saying that. So if you can wear Apple glasses out and about, getting AI functionality, cameras, and so on, that sounds intriguing. But if that same product can provide access to Vision OS when sitting at home or in a coffee shop with my Mac, that could be a true game changer, all right? So let's talk about this for a second. So this approach makes perfect sense to me. So actually, let's say you're out and about and you have your iPhone in your pocket and you're walking around. You have a dumbed down version of, you know, Vision OS on, on the actual glasses. And you can do basic stuff like it was talking about. You can get identification of you know, products, get maps, all those different things coming into the glasses. But once you sit down, maybe at a coffee shop or something, and you pull your Mac up to it, and somehow it can connect to your Mac. Hopefully you can do it wirelessly or through Bluetooth or something where you don't even have to have the lid open. You can sit there and get all the power of Vision OS coming through the Mac into the glasses. This is going to solve a whole bunch of things and a whole bunch of problems with obviously, you know, the, the Vision Pro for sure. We know that obviously. The weight of the glasses, all of the computing power will be off your head. The heat will be off of your head, right? All that stuff will be in the Mac or the iPhone and you can choose which device to use. If you sit down in the coffee shop and you pull your Mac up, you'll have all of your files on there. You'll have all of your powerful applications on there. So the glasses won't have to run anything. It'll be perfect. Plus, for Apple's walled garden, it's perfect as well because you're going to need an iPhone or you're going to need a Mac, right? and then you can actually use the glasses. You can't use them without either of those things or one or the other, so it's good for Apple's walled garden also. And then most importantly, it's going to be the cost, right? This actually gives kind of Apple an off-ramp, right? They can start offering this product maybe for $700, $600 instead of $3,500. That's going to open up the floodgates. I think, like I said, if you want to use your Mac and you have a backpack and you can kind of connect via Bluetooth, you can use your Mac and get all the power while you're walking around, or you can just use your iPhone, plus the full weight of it. I mean, if you imagine trying to wear a Vision Pro all day long, eight hours a day, your, your neck's going to either break or you're going to scare your family. You know, you know, your family might be a little bit scared of you as you're walking around the house. I think that's probably more of a possibility than actually the weight of it. But still, with the glasses, you may look a little bit corny, but I mean, it's going to look a lot better because Apple's going to make them stylish. That's what we're thinking here. And they're going to be thin. They're going to be small. They're going to be light. They're going to be not hot. And that's all what we want, including that $600 price point, $700, you know, $700 price point. I think that's where it has to be for it to be an optimal product for Apple. I think anything more than that, it becomes a luxury product. And some people will get it for sure, but some won't. But in that price range, I think everyone will add it to their entire, you know, kind of Apple ecosystem because it'll be required. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap up the video here, but post in the comments, would this be a product you're interested in? Would it be important to your workflow? Would you actually buy this for six or $700? And actually, you know, now that I've actually seen why, maybe why they came out with Vision OS, I mean, Vision OS now makes a lot more sense to me, or, or the, you know, the Vision Pro, than it did a couple weeks ago. When I actually see this, and I see maybe why they're actually doing this, all for the glasses and they're gonna kind of, I mean, we knew that was coming, but I didn't think it, we knew it was coming this fast. This is all starting to make a lot more sense to me. Anyways, post in the comments what you think. Post in the comments if you have any more information on this. We will talk to you soon. I just wanted to cover this because I, you know, some new information came out today. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.